Do you know how to wind the bobbin on your sewing machine? Do you know what a bobbin is? <laughs> if you answered no to both of these questions, perfect. You're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you what a bobbin is, why you need it, and how to thread it or wind it. And this is really important because your machine uses two threads to sew. And you must have both or else you're not gonna sew anything. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the bobbin thread. Now, I've got a quick question for you before we jump in. Are you learning to sew so you can sew clothing? If the answer is yes, then be sure to subscribe below because all of my videos are geared to help you start sewing your own DIY clothes as quickly as possible while having fun. You're definitely going to want to know when I upload any new content and subscribing will help you do just that. Now, let's get into this bobbin. Like I said, your machine uses two threads to sew. The first one you're just going to buy from the store when you get your fabric and your pattern and anything else. And it looks like this. Okay, should be familiar. If not, throughout the fabric store, you will find them. <laughs> now, this is one thread. Now, the other thread, we actually have to make ourselves, and we make it using a bobbin. It looks like this. Now, this bobbin is empty. There's nothing on it. And what we need to do is move the thread from this spool onto the bobbin. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So we're going to put our spool of thread on this spindle on the top of our machine and then pull the thread over to the left side. Now you'll see here there are two diagrams and this is true of every machine I've ever sewn with, like 10 different machines. There's two diagrams, one with a solid line and one with a dashed line. The solid line is going to be for threading your machine and the dashed line is for using the bobbin. So we're doing the bobbin, so we're going to follow the dashed lines. You can see the first thing is to go under this thread guide, then to go around this circular piece, and then towards the front at an angle. Perfect. Now keep in mind your thread guide and your diagram might look a little bit different, but follow whatever your machine tells you, okay? Then you're going to do this perfectly. <laughs> so if we move over, we can see there's another diagram and the rest of our numbers. So number two here shows us that the thread, that dashed line, needs to go into the bobbin up to three. So I'm gonna grab my bobbin here and you can see it has this little hole on the top. I'm just going to take the end of my thread and push it through that little hole. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> there we go, got it. Okay, now that we have the thread through the bobbin, we're going to take the bobbin and push it onto this plastic spindle. And you see number four tells us an arrow pushing to the right side. We're just going to grab the bobbin and pull it towards the right there. You see how the whole thing moves towards the bobbin stopper? Perfect. Now, all we have to do is pull the thread straight up, hold it there, and press the foot pedal on our sewing machine and it will automatically start winding. Before we finish up winding this bobbin, I'd love to ask you, why are you learning to sew? Like everyone has a different reason and different things they want to make. And I'd love to know what it is that's inspiring you to learn this new skill. Well, let me know in the comments and then let's see how to finish winding this bobbin. So here we're just going to continue winding and once it's wound around a couple of times, you can just snip off that thread that you're holding. Then continue pressing the foot pedal until your bobbin is full. Now I sped this up a little bit, but you'll know that your bobbin is full when it stops on its own. So you'll see mine stopped right there, but I was still pressing the foot pedal, so I know it's full. And once you're done filling your bobbin, you're just going to push it back towards the left. And here, oh, there it goes. <laughs> and then you can pull the bobbin up and off, cut that thread, 
and you should now have a beautiful full bobbin. And now you should have a beautiful bobbin that looks something like this. If you have any questions or is it quite working out for you, let me know in the comments, but most sewing machines should work just like this one. And if you're new to sewing and you're anything like I was, you probably feel a little overwhelmed and lost with all the new things that you're learning, like threading your sewing machine. So I want to make life easy for you. And I've put together a five-step guide that includes everything you need to know to set up your machine so you can start sewing with confidence and know that everything is set up correctly. Inside of the five-step guide, I've included principles to help you learn how to sew straight, um, a beginner's tension guide to make your stitches look absolutely beautiful, um, tips and tricks on setting up your sewing machine the right way, just everything I could think of that you would really need to get started. So if you'd like access to that, just check the link in the description and I'll send the five-step guide right to your inbox. Now that you've finished winding your bobbin, the next step is to actually thread the top of your machine. So you can check out this video here where I show you how to do that. Or if you want to check out some other beginner-friendly videos, here's a whole another one that you might like.